Good Monday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis as I get the camera a little bit wibbly wobbly set up down here. I'm down here in the lower left hand corner. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a live update as to what's going on across the Mid South. We are live on Google Plus, YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope this morning. So thanks for joining me for an update as to what's going on across the Mid South. Cotton Exchange camera apparently having troubles, so we'll switch over to our radar at this time and show you that we do have again a winter weather advisory in effect for two counties in Ar in uh, Arkansas and Tennessee respectively Mississippi County in Arkansas and Dyer County in Tennessee under a winter weather advisory that's just a kind of a cover all type of advisory for the National Weather Service that again is issued for different types of winter weather and we are starting to get some winter weather heading through that particular location mostly in the boot hill northeast Arkansas for the most part but we are also seeing again some more areas of light precipitation in the Mid-South that could be causing some problems into and around Northwest Tennessee, West Kentucky, the Boot Hill, Southeast Missouri, and back into around Northeastern parts of Arkansas. But in the News Channel 3 viewing area, again, the only two counties are listed in this, Mississippi County in Arkansas and Dyer County in Tennessee. So if you're traveling into or through those areas, that's where, again, you're going to need to watch out, again, for the potential of anything sticking on the roadways. Minimal precipitation amounts only, but you can see that over the weekend we did manage to get some pretty good amounts of snowfall. Deborah J54 from areas in and around the Humboldt location. Thank you very much Deborah for sending in uh, that information and those great pictures out there. From this morning, Louie Haskett from Northeast Arkansas. Excuse the wibbly wobbly of the camera on uh, Periscope trying to get this cobbled together using uh, old stands, popsicle sticks, and duct tape this morning. Looking around the area of uh, northeast Arkansas again got some rain out there this morning mixing in with some snow on the truck it's uh, hood and windshield so thank you very much for sending those in if you've got pictures from this weekend anything like that we would love to know about them here at news channel 3 so please tweet them again to aonic underscore wreg3 and we would love to pass them along to everybody out there now snow accumulation for this morning again we're not looking at a great deal but parts of northeast arkansas back into around northwestern tennessee that's where the worst of it's going to be and anywhere around that location we could see about maybe just less than one to two inches this is not a huge situation. This is not anything in the way of a blizzard, but it is going to be, again, uh, the possibility of some dicey traveling conditions for a brief period of time on the roadway. Temperatures in the Mid-South right now in that uh, bar showing again mid to upper 30s in the News Channel 3 backyard. We should be heading for a high temperature today of 52 and a low temperature tonight of 36, along with some scattered showers as we go throughout the rest of the day. Mainly looking at just rainfall moving into the Mid-South. So far, again, nothing in the way of thunderstorms or anything involving severe weather, but we will be looking for more possible possibilities of that coming on through into around the rest of the morning. So if you have any plans for travel, take the umbrella with you and may want to leave a little bit early this morning and into this afternoon as we may see some wet roadways out there. But the good news as we go toward the later portions of the day, we'll see again the possibility of rain dwindling across much of the Mid-South. So again, things will be a little bit quieter as we get into the rest of the afternoon. So definitely good news on that if you are going to be traveling across the rest of the Mid-South south. Heading into the rest of the day today, again, sunrise this morning will be at 713. Has not occurred just yet. It'll be at 712 tomorrow morning, along with sunset getting a little bit later, so we'll be increasing, coming close to 12 hours of daylight across much of the Mid-South. We managed to hit a high of 53 yesterday and a low of 31, making it definitely below normal for this time of the year. Rest of the day yesterday was dry. We're behind for the year by about 2.17 inches today, and for the month of March were ahead by about a half an inch plus or so, so we could definitely use a little bit more rainfall to counter the dry conditions out across much of the Mid-South. What it looks like throughout the rest of the morning as that moisture begins to make its way across the area back into around close to around Blytheville, the Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee. You're going to see some rain mixed with and changing over to snow. The rest of the Mid-South, the Metro, the I-40 corridor, down to northern parts of Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas, that's where we will see again the potential for just plain rainfall and that's really going to be about all that we wind up with. The chances of rain will be leaving the Mid-South as we get closer to around lunchtime today. Most everything leaves the area heading toward western Middle Tennessee 
northeastern Mississippi and back into around areas of northwestern Alabama. Temperatures will be chilly today. The high temperatures only expected in the mid to upper 40s to right around 50 degrees and that's about as warm as it gets. On the back side of this system, this is the same storm system that is going to be making its way across the country heading toward New England and causing a lot of problems as a what's called a nor'easter storm and that can be a pretty nasty situation shaping up especially at this time of the year where we can get some very big impacts of snow in that section of the country not where we are we are just looking for plain rainfall out there throughout the rest of the day heading home tonight past work or school if you don't have spring break again mid to upper 40s out across the area so just plain rain drizzle here and there through mid evening some of that could stick around as early as news channel 3 at 10 with Jim Jagger's forecast don't forget about that and throughout the rest of the day today into tonight and overnight through about news channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning maybe some drizzles out there but just really not looking at all that much across much of the area so for the rest of the day today scattered showers and temperatures very much on the cooler side we should be in the lower 60s we're going to be below that in the upper 40s to around the right about the 50 degree mark or so somewhere in that particular location mid to upper 40s as we head toward Tuesday and again looking at some fairly light winds out there even cooler toward Wednesday that's that cold air wrapping around the back side of that storm system that's heading out of the picture back toward the east and that's going to take our temperatures down into a very cool lower 40s for Wednesday bus stop temperatures Wednesday morning will be brisk back in the mid to upper 20s or so now we'll warm up a little bit heading towards St. Patrick's Day on Friday we're seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms closer to normal temperatures but taking a little while to get there and then heading toward next weekend the last weekend of winter we're almost out of the winter season heading towards springtime and as we get towards spring which starts next monday temperatures will be very pleasant back in the lower 70s unfortunately we may see the possibility of some scattered showers out across portions of the mid-south maybe even some thunderstorms no indication that there's any severe weather taking place at this time so good news on that but once again we'll be watching that with a lot of interest friends or loved ones serving in the united states military let's go take a look at what's happening in Iraq. Thunderstorms back toward Mosul and temperatures in the 70s and 80s in the Baghdad area down toward the Persian Gulf. Also a lot warmer back down to days into the mid to upper 70s around Doha in Qatar and around Bahrain. Some showers mid 80s there. It was in the 90s yesterday in Saudi Arabia. 81 degrees breezy southwest winds and 88 degrees in Kuwait. Afghanistan fairly clear with the exception of some clouds around Kabul. 40s there and rain appearing around Faizabad. Temperatures back in the lower 40s. That location 40s across the Korean Peninsula and looking at mainly cloud cover out there. No rain being reported across South Korea and back toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. We've got temperatures very much on the pleasant side being in the Caribbean and temperatures back into the lower to mid 70s after a low this morning of about 72 degrees. Back into the rest of the area again thank you to everybody for sending in some of those pictures including our own Michael Gates out with the trying to find the ice scraper on Saturday night and once again Deborah J54 a very nice view of snow by Humboldt northeast Arkansas from Louis Haskett. If you've got pictures please tweet them to us Aonic underscore WREG3 and we'll be glad to pass them along to the rest of the area. Also don't forget about the News Channel 3 app. Whatever app you've got uh, search WREG weather on your particular app store and you'll get our brand new and improved weather app for you to stay tuned with News Channel 3 while you're on the go from the station that is on your side. And also don't forget to tune in for more with the forecast on Oldies 102.3, Country 102.3 oh, Country 92.5 and of course I'll be on AM 730 this morning so stay tuned for more on that with Bob, Josh and C. Austin on the Memphis AM radio show and on Talk Back Live later this morning. Other questions, concerns the forecast up here at the website wreg.com slash weather and also on the various social media networks listed on that location. As soon as I figure out how to get it listed to uh, Game Boy, I will let you know about that. In the meantime, take the umbrella and be ready for the possibility of more showers out there throughout the rest of the day today. And don't forget, if you're driving in the Mid-South, if your windshield wipers are activated, your headlights must be on. That's state law, so let's be careful out there. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning. I'll have more on your forecast, and also Jim Jaggers will have more on your complete forecast tonight, starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick from the WREG TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Monday.